Hi folks. Picked up one of these DC to DC converters. This particular one, the input voltage is saying to be the low end 4.5 volts and the high end 16 volts. It's just a little wee thing. Hopefully it's showing itself a little bit better with a magnifying glass. That's what it looks like. I have the leads soldered on already. And what I have it hooked up to on the incoming voltage is a lithium cell. It's a 16850 cell, which is 3.7 volts. So I'm under the recommended input voltage. And I wanted to see just how low of a voltage I could go to with this 3.7 lithium cell. This particular DC to DC converter is adjustable. Let me get the magnifying glass and show you this again. You can see that little silver piece there. My hands are all tied up so I can't bring it in and um, actually show you where it is. You can see it by the red wire on the output side. It's at the bottom, close to the edge. It looks like a little star for a Phillips screwdriver. So let me turn it on, the voltmeter. I have adjusted to there, which is 1.48 volts. And that's pretty much what I want it for. I want to bring it down to what a double A battery would read, which is 1.5 volts. So I'm going to touch this adjusting screw here a little bit. It's very, very sensitive. So well, let's just turn it. I'm going to turn it here and see what the uh, voltmeter ends up doing. See, I went a little wee bit higher. I'm probably going to be settling at around 1.6. Right about there is where I'll be using this lithium cell at 1.6 volts. I slipped off here. Let me get it back on. Very touchy this little adjusting screw is. So let's see how low I can bring it. We're getting back to what the, the actually the battery voltage actually is, which I don't want. But very, very slight turns needs to take place here because it's very sensitive. I think I slipped off again. There we go. I've been looking for a long time to see if I could get a voltage adjuster for these um, 3.7 lithium cells. More so the 16850 cell. And when I was doing some research Trying to locate them, I came across this particular one, and the price was right. I think it was less than a dollar. It was 59 cents or something like that. If anybody's interested in one, I can post the link. Just, uh, just let me know. I don't want to post the link ahead of time because more than likely, you know, a month down the road, that link may change and it'll be no good anyhow. So there we go, we're coming back to the low end. Let me see how low I can go. 
When I first played with it, I had it less than one volt. I think that's about the low end. Yeah, I'm going to leave it right there. Not bad. 0.88 of a volt output. Not very many things are going to operate off of that low voltage. But just the same. That's how low that little DC to DC converter can, can go. I want to use it for, like I said earlier, for the one point, I would like that battery to emit because I need one point, your standard AA battery is one and a half volts, 1.5, but I'm going to step it up just a little wee bit. You can see how finicky that little dial is, it's just the slightest movement can take the largest jump so you really got to move these adjusting screws extremely slow so there we go I'll be settling for right about that so I'll be using that voltage coming from the output leads to what I want to operate let me hook it back up here Right there is the voltage I will be using from the lithium cell. So it's a pretty slick little device. It actually takes the 3.7 volts and steps it down to the recommended whatever a person may want, down to 0.88. It may go a little bit lower. Um, that's about as low as I could get it to go. I guess if I played around with it a little bit more, it might go lower. But like I say, I'm, I'm looking at the one and a half volts. So the 1.57 volts is going to work really, really well for me. You know, your standard, your standard um, devices that take them AA batteries or AAA batteries or C batteries or D batteries, they all have the same output voltage of one and a half volts, 1.5 volts. So I have quite a few of these particular cells that I want to incorporate, incorporate into some of these devices. And it's gonna stop me from having to buy batteries and the device is gonna last a lot longer because it's a pretty good little battery here. So I was happy to find this little device, little converter here. It's just a little wee tiny thing. It's a little bit bigger than the battery though. I can't, I was really hoping to find something I could rest on top of here, but that's okay. I'll just make up a little box there and it'll all work out well. Now the output, maximum output on this without a heat sink is two amps. With a heat sink would be three amps. So keep that in mind if you have any interest for such a little device. It's a two amp output maximum with the heat sink three amp output but most most devices that take these you know your standard d cell batteries or your c cell batteries the output the the amperage that these devices require isn't going to be really much more than an amp or two so if they are if you know four or five amps draw from a double a or a triple a battery that's going to drain that battery a lot anyhow but this little device here is not going to work. It's going to end up burning out. So there you have it, folks. DC to DC converter. Now, when you when you when you look for them, this particular one, the input voltage, which is coming from here, is saying not lower than 4.5. But I just showed. I just showed. 
that it will accept a lower voltage, 3.7 volts. How low will it accept and still be adjustable? This I do not know. Anyhow, there's many of you out there that may not know something like this is going to work. But there you have it. It's going to work. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not. And thank you very much for those that already have.